So I'm a cardiologist who essentially completed my training in Melbourne in Australia and then went on to do quite uh, a lot of research and clinical training overseas. I went um, uh, to uh, the Royal Brompton Hospital, which is one of the leading hospitals in Europe and also the world in London, the United Kingdom. I spent a few years there training in the field of interventional cardiology. That's the field whereby we manage patients with RR blockages who need stents and devices to open up the arteries. I then went on, uh, always had a passion for research and trying to learn as much as I can about how the heart works. But really what I'm motivated about is how we can better improve the quality of life of our patients through the use of technologies. So I went overseas then again to uh, the Netherlands. There's a, a large cardiac centre called the Thorax Centre. That's where I also completed a PhD. And this doctoral work related to a very innovative camera that uses a laser image to scan inside the arteries of the heart. We've never had that capability before. Traditionally, we perform an angiogram, which essentially gives us a two-dimensional representation of whether there's a block there or not. But with this camera that I worked on in Europe, we were able to place this camera through the wire that we were doing the angiogram with and look in high resolution about how the artery was building up cholesterol and how best we could tackle that by these devices or these stent devices. That research allowed me to complete a PhD and also then bring that new technology into Australia. And uh, you know, I'm quite honoured to have been able to bring this new technology back in Australia. It was 2009 now. And it's great to see now over about 80 centres around Australia that are using this technology in the hospitals when patients need to have an invasive procedure to better understand how cholesterol builds up and how we can best tackle this uh, either with medication or with these devices known as stents.